Hey y'all, welcome back. So today I'm gonna be trying a style that has been floating around YouTube for literal years now. I got mine in the color two. They are 24 inches long, and as you can see, they're gorgeous, y'all. They are so lightweight. I was very pleased with this style, so if you're interested, definitely stay tuned. As you can see from my braiding style, this is my first time, but following a tutorial, I went in with about 11 braids going straight back, and then I had my hair split off in the front for my individual plaits because I thought that would be easiest for me and here I'm just showing you guys how I open the crochet latch and go ahead and loop that crochet piece on you want to close the latch behind you and then slide that through now throughout this process I make crazy faces y'all I was so nervous to do this but I was so pleased with myself too I love the way this style turned out but as you can see once you pull that hair through just make a loop and pull it through that loop to tighten it and that's about it okay and as you can see I go on with the next piece just like that lucky enough to come across an amazing YouTube tutorial and they told me that the rule of thumb was supposed to be two finger widths apart towards the top um, and then about one finger widths apart on the perimeter so like your main edge braids or like your anchor braids you want to have one finger width apart and then when you're going in with the rest of your head you want to do two finger widths apart the gist of that is to make sure that you don't end up like Shaka Khan or big like Mufasa hair you want it to be full but you don't want it to be too full and I saw a lot of tutorials where that actually happened so I'm glad that I followed this rule it actually turned out perfect I will say when you're doing your hair it kind of looks a little silly like oh my god you're gonna see through my scalp but I promise you won't just go two finger widths down the plait and I go one plait at a time all across my head I tend to keep this method across my entire head as I finish the main solid colored plaits and then once I go into my individuals it gets a little bit more difficult Overall, I ended up using about three packs of the solid color hair that I'll link below and then I ended up going in with one extra pack of this ombre colored hair that I believe was also 24 inches. It was pre-twisted and it was gorgeous, y'all, okay? So first, I'm gonna go ahead and just start sectioning off my hair. This is how it looks. I'm so proud of myself. And y'all can see that that spacing method really gives you that natural full look without being too full with too much hair so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and separate my hair half up half down just to get the hair out of the way so we could go ahead with the individuals in the front the main reason why I decided to go in with individuals because I wanted to wear my hair up and down with a little bit of versatility which of course crochet gives you I wanted to make sure that my perimeter wasn't going to be too awkward so I decided to do some individuals in the front. So from what I've seen and in my experience with any protective style, there's multiple methods of doing any style. And I guess today I'm showing you about two or three different ways of actually doing crochet styles. So you can do it the natural way, which is what I did the natural color in the back. It's just attaching those to some cornrow braids. Or you can go and do individuals like I'm about to do right now. And so this first plait, you'll see I'm actually going in with my edge products just to sleek my hair. And I actually go ahead and twist the actual twist within my hair. I ended up not liking this method specifically with the style that I'm doing because it made the hair a little bit more shorter than the 24 inches that I had going on with the rest of my head. But as far as blending, in my opinion, it looked really good. As you can see, it also made the plait or twist a little bit smaller than the rest of my head. So here I am now just showing you the twist. And as you can see, either method, it looks the same. Um, the only difference, in my opinion, would be the size. So in order to keep the hair uniformed, I decided to crochet the hair into my braid or plait just like I did the rest of my head. The only difference is these are singular, individual, and not rooted to my scalp. So all I'm doing is looping it, and as you can see, I'm taking both my hair within the braid and the plait, and I'm going to tuck that within the loop that I've created and securely, tauntly pull that. Or tauntly, securely, whatever. You know what I mean. Once I do that, 
I'm gonna secure that around the base of my braid and then I'm going to slowly start unraveling the twist at the root just a little bit now this is you want to be careful not to disrupt the plait I mean if you like that frizzy look that's fine I actually like the bohemian naturalness of it so it really doesn't matter but I did not want to mess up the natural twist I kind of unrooted it and then started tautly tucking my hair to it so in my opinion the tighter that you do this the better as you can see if you do it loose it's going to leave a bulge within the twist and it's going to show your hair so I went ahead down the whole strand of my hair tautly tucking that within the twist and this is just how it looks guys blends perfectly with the rest of my head I did that across the entire front To finish off the look, I went ahead and sleeked down my baby hairs. Y'all, I'm so in love with this style. It was super quick. I definitely did this in about two hours. Now, supposedly people do crochet in like 30 minutes, so hopefully I get better at this, but let me know what you think about this style down below in the comment section. This is how it turned out. I went ahead and played around with it a little bit, styling it to see how I liked it. But this is basically it, guys. Thank you so much for checking out my video. And I will see you guys in my next one.